Hello guys. Elva Smurf back again. Hi Dobri. Hi Sean. You cop Chan Jin Jie Rolo C4. Uh Vuka Singh. Harish Singh, I puke, Kalam Khan, Kevin Enroyo, Taha, Clive Robin. How are you guys? Okay, this dream, right? I'm gonna focus on two things. The first thing is talking about how strong is CTK Henry sword. Just a sword piece because recently I got a, I managed to get a picture of, uh, Henry Henry Jaya account whereby he screenshot his sword with all the jewels in that sword. And by the way, the sword right, is a mythic level, plus, it has, all the three barren jewels. It's kind of, wicked sick, okay, so, this is the first thing I will go through. The second thing is recently I watched, sorry, I didn't really watch the full video of the Griffon Trap. I think it's Worthy Prince posted this video one week ago. Uh, as requested some by some of the viewers out here, I will watch that video together with you. And if you guys have any question, I can address on the spot and see what is that trap about and decipher it what exactly is that trap and how to make that trap okay so first thing first Henry Jaya sword you know this sword? the Hall of Fame question number one is very simple still, still remember back then I, men I mentioned before about the gears right all the different gears out there uh, they have a point system using the reference point of uh, 5.21, 3 and 1 points, right? You can actually allocate points to all the respective, gear, respective gears, right? To see, in terms of apple to apple comparison, how much better is a gear compared to another gear? So my question to you is, as compared to Henry Jaya Sword, with, his, with all his uh, Baron Jewels, right? How much better is his sword as compared to my sword? <laughs> I know it's a bit uh Elon Tisu because obviously my sword is nothing comparable to his sword, right? So I just give a let's have a apple to apple comparison. So my sword is a mythic frostwing grid sword with all the gold 20% jewels. 48% inf, 48% calf, and 37.5 range attack. So my question is, as compared to Henry Jaya sword, how much better is his sword compared to my sword, including all the jewels in terms of points system? So back then I already mentioned before, like a uh, mythic fury tomahawk versus a uh, mythic frostwing great sword, right? It's like one fourth. 5 points versus 383 points so that is around like uh, 162% better alright which is like wait, let me make it in, in better terms so I use this time system so this points divided by this point okay so I use this 2.625 times of that sort so <laughs> okay, so it's like uh, Frostwing is Mythic Sword Frostwing is 2.6 times better than Mythic Fury Tomahawk and Mythic Skull Crusher is use the point system uh, 582 points divided by this point is 1.5 times better than the Mythic Frostwing Great Sword so Hall of Fame question number 1 is how much better is 
Hendry Jaya Sword with the three Baron Jewels versus my noob Frostwing Great Sword. Alright, whoever got the closest answer to the decimal point will be in my Hall of Fame for today. <laughs> Must be very precise. You can be your answer can be four point two three one or three point two two one or something like that. Whoever got the closest answer will win. Okay, this is the first part of the stream. I will get back to this shortly after this and uh, decipher everything for you. Let me go through the second part of the stream. I watched. Uh, I was. I watched only the first part of the video. But I have have yet to go into the details of this video by uh, Worthy Prince. So I will take this opportunity to watch this together with you guys, and you guys will watch see my reaction, live reaction for the first time when I watch this grief on trap. I have no idea what is it. Let's see. Let me switch off the uh this music first. It's a bit irritating. So Okay guys, so you can see the castle right now is So credits to Worthy Prince. I have no idea what is this. But I heard there's a trap that's quite interesting. Now the way this trap is set up, let me explain this while you see the first few marches going in, okay? This trap is loaded with resources. You can see in the top right hand corner, there's a bunch of resources in this, in this account, but there's no troops guys. All of the troops have been sent out to resource tiles. Ah, now, I know how this works. Are be scouting and they're gonna be seeing all those resources. They're gonna be seeing no troops. So they begin to send their T4 marches to try and raid it and get all that resource just for themselves, which any of us would do, okay? The difference with this trap is this person's online and the RSS that got the out to bait them into doing exactly what you're seeing now. Send in multiple wow. marches. <laughs> this is burning. And they're getting this is genius, man. So they're getting more and more I can totally foresee what is going to happen next. And continue to send multiple marches towards this account. And you know all this why I've, ready, I really thought of this trap but I I didn't really make effort to come up with this trap because to have a trap like this is not, not that easy. But they will do because they know they want to get that resource that a little bit quicker and boost the march they're sending. Now the Griffin skill is a familiar, the Griffin okay, and the level 10 skill or the elder skill should I say allows you to bring all of your troops in from gathering tiles within say eight seconds or something very very quickly so the <laughs> idea is of course <laughs> that is so sick super quick oh my god and when all your troops land, that is genius relocate whoever they come up with this idea right is them smart so that's how the i kind of know the breakdown of the troop really let's let's see how he Again, does around, here we does go. he review the Gears. breakdown of the, troop, the troops? Skill. Here it comes. You can see on the left, look at the timer. Five, four, three, two, one. It's so quick. All the marches are in. Time to teleport. What the Thank fuck? You very much. <laughs> Just captured three leaders and a ton of marches, guys. Oh my god, oh. the amount of marches he just took, there must have been about 15 marches, it was a lot. He didn't show? And now he's gone back Why don't he show that? This must be his fishing hole. He likes I don't think that is that, here, that difficult, right? <laughs> so here he goes uh, again, and he's doing exactly the same okay, thing. Let's right? watch one more trap, and I think I can come up with an estimation of what is the troop breakdown like. But hopefully I don't piss that person off because I gotta let the cat out the out the bag. So as you can see, the first castle started. We've got a castle coming in from the right hand side now. You can see the march coming in. Do you want it private? Well that might be his troops actually. I think there's a march coming away from him. Should I even review his troop Actually it's not review, it's just based on my analysis and my idea of the best troop count to Make this happen. I don't care. I will make it private. <laughs> I will make it public now. Based on my understanding. Might not be true. That's quite sick. 
Can you imagine this happening to your guild? Your whole guild falling in on a castle and sending. Look at that! <laughs> that that is like six troops, six army of 365k of T force. That will be freaking painful, man. All red dates. All red dates. Come on. And another cast has pulled into the right hand side. We've got another one coming from the left hand side. Wow. Marches everywhere. I think it's time to get ready. Look at him. Because look at all those the, marches coming in. Do you notice something? Is he changing his front line to cavalry feelings? Base. Okay, it goes to show that. Okay. Definitely in his troop breakdown, no, they ought to have some calf inside. Maybe in some infantry, some range, I don't know, but cavalry is definitely uh, inside there. Six army. So six six army multiplied by 365k troops each. That will make up like. Uh, sorry, I will make I will do the math later. Another one, he's at another little island. He, he knows the spots to pick. Because oh, you don't, want them close, you, know? you don't want them to get that resource out of your base too quickly. You know, you want them walking. GG, good distance. game. Plus, it gives you a really good idea of how many marches are coming. If you're, you know, further away from them, you can judge whether or not it's a good time to use the skill and relocate. And already, this is starting to get some attention. He's smart. Got someone marching three or it's four marches across the lake. Every small little... Uh, so details right he actually positioned right, right in the middle of the island yeah, yeah, so it make it such that all the troops right you take at least like 30 seconds let's say it's T4 too much to him so along the way it, it, he can accumulate as much as many as like maybe 10 20 marches towards him and random pot <laughs> all sapulu oh god wow so now it's time to use the skill. Here we go. Whoa. Right, with the four, three, two, one. And random reload. Oh and my god. another cap. And <laughs> he just captured the leader and taken all of those troops. Crazy stuff. Here's some of the reports, guys. I'm not going to show oh, all of them. That's sick. Otherwise I'll be showing like 30 I think there's reports, nothing else, right? These are full T4. Let's just fast forward. Speeding up. We go. Did someone just subscribe? Oh, Sebastian Lavini! Thanks for subscription. Thanks for subscribe. Oh, did I miss out anything? Oh, he got rallied. Well, I guess that's a blunder. Okay, so first thing first. I think I can... Let me just talk about this Griffon Trap. You know Griffon Trap is something that is... Hi Diego Sylvester, thanks for subscribing. You know for Griffon Trap, this is what it does. Just in case you guys don't know what is Griffon Trap. Griffon Trap, right, it allows you to uh, to call back all the marches in less than... How many seconds? 6 seconds. So recall all your troops within 6 seconds. So, uh... I noticed that in the video, right, there was six marches. So, Woody Prince didn't review the troop breakdown of how he managed to trap based on recalling six troops. But if you guys notice uh, something, right, six troops, I think it's more than enough suffice to be a quite a sick solo trap. Let me explain why. Okay. Many months back, I did a video about how to be a rally trap and also did a video on how to be a solo trap. So in that video, I mentioned very very clearly that to be a solo trap, right, you need somewhat around, sorry, to be a rally trap, you need somewhat around, uh, sorry, let me see if I have the breakdown over here. Mm, you need somewhat around 24 million frontline and anti-frontline strength. So you look at this. Correct? I, let me talk about Rally Trap first. Rally Trap is somewhat uh, for a typical M44 Rally Trap is like this. So you look at it here, right? It's 24 million, 24 million frontline and the frontline strength. You are able to eat up a lot of rallies. But for Solo Trap, you need not to have so much. Alright? For Solo Trap, you need somewhat like a breakdown like this. Okay? Maybe 3 million Gladiator and the rest will be Archers and 
uh, cataracts. Sorry. So we'll be. Let me just give an estimation. So it's 3 million T2's gladiator as well as 3 million, 3 million cataracts. So you need somewhat like a 8 million ish anti front line. Uh, average uh, 5 million, 5 million front line anti front line strength. Okay? So bearing this in mind, right? We we know, we know some of the facts is he have six matches, all right. Having a match in total, like in total, we'll give you three hundred sixty-five k, right. So in total, he can get as much as this amount of T force, which is two point two million T force. Correct, two point two million T force. You know two point two million T force, right? How does it flare? How does it compare versus a typical solo trap? With this amount of T force, right? I can actually break it down in this manner. I have a front line of maybe one million heroic fighters versus uh maybe let me see six hundred k. Not that good. Make it eight hundred, seven hundred. 700. Come on. This is the breakdown that's more than enough to be a 6 solo trap. Still remember just now the, the, the stats over here? The stats over here is just now was around like 8 million, 5 million. So it's average 5 million. So with this breakdown, which means it gives you a total of 2.2 .2 million T force, it's more than suffice for you to be a. to have a frontline strength and anti frontline strength of 6 million plus, 7 million plus. So this is a. Easy breakdown for you to be a uh, insane solo trap. So probably the breakdown is something like that. Maybe slightly different, but by and large won't differ by too much. That is my analysis. So whatever you say, the trap can be anything, but as long as it satisfies something like that, you can be a Griffon trap. Okay, let's move on to the last part of the stream. <laughs> As promised, right? Henry Jaya. My first Hall of Fame question is this. What, how many times better is Henry Jaya gear? His gear, his sword versus my Frostwind sword. Many guys actually mentioned about, uh, I have many answers now. I have answers as, wait, five times stronger by Sean, you could say 3.2 times, Chan Jin Jie say 8 times better, uh, Kevin Arroyo say 4.5, David Starr say 4.2, 3.3, 3 times 5.16, 10 times better. Alright, there's a lot of uncertain right now. Let me just review, do the calculation, and review the answer right now. I got this picture, picture right, from my guild mates, and this was gotten from Henry Jaya himself. This is a picture that is exclusive only from my guild. Exclusive from only from whoever that is going to watch this today. So just keep this to yourself. <laughs> just keep this to yourself. This is a screenshot by him. Alright. He has this sword. But you guys notice something. You guys want to see something? 23.4 million! <laughs> oh my god! <sighs> and by the way, right? Uh, in Chinese, right? This sword is called, called Rong Yao Zi Bao Jian. Rong Yao means it's glory. Bao Jian is like sword. Rong Yao Zi Bao Jian. Okay? These are all the Baron Jewels, Baron Jewels, all them are Baron Jewels. By default, all the Baron Jewels will be 15%, 50% of uh, a, a specific troop type. So collectively, right, if you add up together, it's at least 50% more stats as compared to your typical attack Jewels of your infantry, cavalry or attack because they only offer 20%. But for a typical Baron Jewel, in totality, you add up 30% stats. So it's 50% more stats. So, Look at this. Qin Wei Gong Zili. Army attack, 63%. Okay? Qin Wei Fang Pei Li is army defense, 35%. Qin 
均为生命力 is army HP twenty one percent， 敌军为生命力弱呃强，命力弱化 means 呃、uh, like demoralize you actually decrease the the enemy the opponent HP by seven percent okay so all this is like cavalry attack 骑兵攻击力攻攻兵攻击力 is your range attack. 步兵攻击力 is your infantry attack. So it's thirty percent, thirty percent, thirty percent. So now we have all the stats. Let's translate them into points. <laughs> okay, let's use my formula. The formula of sword. Okay, before that, right? Let me just use uh, my stats versus his stats. My stats is this. Okay, my stats is forty-eight percent, forty-eight percent, thirty-seven point five percent. So, which means my stats will be forty-eight, forty-eight, thirty-seven point five. Wait, is it thirty-seven point five? Yeah, thirty-seven point five. So, in terms of points, my points is six hundred and ninety-five points. But what about Henry Jaius King Slayer Sword? The sword is this. Oh my wasida! <laughs> okay, let me just copy paste. This is his stats. Okay. And what? Infantry, cavalry. Ah,、uh, sorry. Inf. Inf attack. Ah,、uh, range attack. And calf attack. That will be thirty percent each, right? So thirty percent each. Let's translate into points. Sixty-three percent army attack will be sixty-three multiplied by uh my points over here times three because it's army attack. You have to multiply by three. Army defense is this thirty-five multiplied by uh three multiplied by the points over here, which is by default all defense is one point. Army HP is just this multiplied by three times. Three points over here. Okay. Army enemy army HP debuff is as good. Let me just use、uh, HP as a reference point. Okay. It might not be that accurate, but that is the best reference I can get. So it's seven times three times my points over here. So same for attack. Attack wise, it's all pretty straightforward, right? Attack is just this multiplied by this. So let me just use the formula link so that it won't take so such a stupid long time. So we one five six one five six one five six. Any total, it'll be just all this sum up together. Ho ho ho! So the answer is one hundred eighty one one points versus my six nine five points. The answer is this. Whoever got the closest answer? Ah <laughs> yeah, it's just two point six times. It's such. It's actually very, very, very imba. It's quite imba already. So, well done. Wait, do I do the math wrongly? It seems like I expect it. Expecting it, we have more points. Hmm. Let me double check. Ah.、Uh. No, I'm right. So in total, the stats points are at one thousand eight hundred and eleven points. So the answer is two point six o two nine. So whoever got the closest answer to what's the answer of two point six, two point six times, you'll be in the hall for hall of fame for today. I don't think there's anyone got the. Oh, I found someone who got a very close answer of two point seven times. He's no other than Stone. 
Are you stone? Are you here? Stoneaholic! Well done, Stoneaholic. I think you are the one that is spot on to guess 2.7 times, so it's just a bit off. <laughs> no, the formula is correct. Yep, this is the same formula that I use, so nothing wrong. Just doing a quick check now. Vom, 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 vom. Yep, it's correct. Yeah, it's correct. So, Stormaholic, well done. And I don't think I. Wait. Okay, guys. Uh, this is quite a short stream because it's Sunday night and it's near 11 pm and I have work tomorrow. So, by the way, if you guys have yet to subscribe, remember to click the subscribe button because I. I will be back anytime soon to stream any live live rallies, maybe some solo attacks that's done by me. Uh, so hopefully I'll be back and just give you guys a heads up. I am just doing up I'm doing up a video of all the summary of what I had collated so far in 2018. So for those people who have who has been following me who have been following me for the past one year right you guys notice that I, have, I created a lot of content but the thing is uh, most of us don't have the luxury of time to actually go through all the videos all the streams I did for the past one year so instead of saving out all the important information right I kind of like going to plan out to do out the video of all the important tips and tricks and some of the uh, mechanism behind about all the theory behind that right in in a short video in maybe less than 20 minutes so instead of going through the 10 plus hours of stream videos you guys can look into a summary video that I'm going to do up maybe by end of this year so that video will come out with all the important topics so that is more like a rewind. Alpha 2018 tips rewind. So some of the important topics will be the attack versus HP defense video. Okay. It's the importance of squad damage. Uh how should one use energy? The importance of holy star, how to counter darkness, troop mechanics, the max the max stats of Emperor gear, the best familiar building setup, how to be a solo trap, how to be a rally trap. So everything is, has been covered in my stream. So if you want to go to the details, you can look into them separately. But I will do up a summary for you guys by end of this year, hopefully. <laughs> yes, better than YouTube Rewind. Okay, so with that, I shall end my stream. So hopefully this short 30 minute stream will give you guys some insight of Emperor Gear, uh, Griffon Trap, and a heads up of Alpha 2018 Tips Rewind. Okay, so with that, I will end my stream because it's 11 p.m. I have to wake up very early tomorrow Tomorrow for my work. Okay, good luck. Goodbye, guys. Bye, guys. See you guys soon. Take care.